Welcome to the Peptide Podcast. Now, we've all experienced those moments when our digestive system decides to take an unexpected pause, leaving us feeling bloated and maybe even a bit frustrated. It's that unsettling sensation of being backed up that has us feeling really uncomfortable. But beyond the physical discomfort, constipation brings with it a myriad of bothersome symptoms that can disrupt our daily lives. From the persistent abdominal pain to the bothersome feeling of fullness post-bathroom visits, constipation is both universally relatable and uniquely personal. Today, I want to talk about True Lance, a peptide used in adults to treat chronic idiopathic constipation and irritable bowel syndrome with constipation. So what is True Lance? True Lance is known by its generic name, placanotide. And it's an important peptide for gut health. It's an FDA-approved medication designed to help alleviate symptoms associated with chronic idiopathic constipation, or CIC, and irritable bowel syndrome with constipation, or IBS-C. Now, CIC is long-term constipation with an unknown cause, and IBS-C is a condition that causes belly pain and constipation. So how does Trulance work? Trulance works by targeting the guanylate cyclase C, or GCC, in the lining of the gastrointestinal tract. GCC is a protein that plays an important role in regulating fluid secretion and transit time, or simply the time the food stays in your gut. Now, Trulance activates GCC, which increases the amount of fluid in your intestines and speeds up the movement of food through your gut. This softens the stool and promotes bowel movements, thus relieving bloating and stomach pain. So what are the common side effects of Trulance? Trulance is generally well tolerated. However, some people may experience mild side effects. The most commonly reported side effect is diarrhea. Diarrhea often occurs within the first four weeks of taking the medication. And those with CIC have also reported sinus infections, upper respiratory tract infections, bloating, gas, and stomach pain. And those with IBS-C have also reported nausea, dizziness, upper respiratory tract infections, and urinary tract infection. It's important to remember that these effects are usually mild and tend to go away on their own as the body gets used to the medication. But what are some serious side effects of Trulance? While uncommon, some potentially serious side effects associated with Trulance require immediate medical attention if experienced. These would include severe diarrhea, dehydration, or blood in your stool. Now, prolonged and severe diarrhea may lead to dehydration, presenting as increased thirst, dry mouth, reduced urine output, dizziness, or even fainting. In clinical studies, this medication caused severe dehydration leading to death in young animals. So to be on the safe side, children and adolescents should not take Trulance. There have been rare instances of severe complications like bowel obstruction reported in patients with pre-existing conditions, particularly those predisposed to GI obstructions. Now, if someone has a history of blockages or even a structural abnormality in the intestines, it's important to talk with a healthcare provider before starting Trulance. You'll definitely want to monitor for symptoms of GI obstruction, such as sudden or severe abdominal pain, nausea or vomiting, and the inability to pass stool during your treatment with Trulance. So how do I take Trulance? Trulance is a convenient once daily oral tablet. It can be taken at any time of the day with or without food, and it typically starts to work about a week after daily use. The typical dose for CIC and IBSC is three milligrams daily. Thanks again for listening to the Peptide Podcast. We love having you as part of our community. And if you love this podcast, please share it with your friends and family on social media and have a happy, healthy week.